Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you three healthy Instant Pot recipes. So I know what you're thinking. It's not Monday. So every Monday I usually post a new Instant Pot recipe, but today's a little bit special because I am teaming up with Jared from Tone and Titan and he is gonna be sharing with you three side dishes that go with my main dishes. So he's gonna make three Instant Pot side dishes, I'll make three Instant Pot main dishes, and they go perfectly together. Now if you haven't seen Jared before, you can find him in the description below. His is Tone and Titan, and he shares all kinds of exercise tips, eating healthy tips. He's the one that got me back into shape after I had a baby. So he is one of my most favorite people to watch on YouTube. Now, here's the fun part. Not only can you go to his site and check out the three side dishes that go with my recipes, we are also teaming up together to give away two Instant Pots. Now, if you don't have an Instant Pot, this is the perfect way to get one. So all you have to do is go to the link right in my description and it will lead you to the giveaway. That's it. If you're already following me, you're already halfway there. All right, you guys. Let's go to the kitchen and make these healthy Instant Pot recipes. And don't forget, go check out Jared's channel and check out his healthy side dishes. Now the first recipe I'm sharing with you is lemon chicken. Now we're gonna push the saute button first and add two to three tablespoons of olive oil right to the bottom of your Instant Pot. Now I'm gonna spread mine around a little bit because we're gonna put our chicken right on that oil. Now, once your oil is hot, you are all ready to add your chicken. So I have three, you can do four chicken breasts. Oh, actually there's two there. I have four chicken breasts that I'm putting in my Instant Pot. Two are frozen together, so I'm just gonna let them thaw as we go. So now it's time to season them. I love garlic salt, so I always put garlic salt on my chicken. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of paprika. I love smoked paprika, but I am all out today. Then just add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and one of my favorites, Italian seasoning. Just a little bit of that on top. Now I am searing the chicken, that's what I'm doing. So that's why it's on the saute button. Then once it's cooked a little bit, we're going to flip it to the other side just to sear in all those delicious flavors. So I cooked them about two minutes on the first side. I'm gonna cook about two and a half, maybe three minutes on the next side. Oh, look how good that looks, nice and brown. Now, while these are searing, I'm gonna chop up some onions and some lemons so I can put it right on top. So here are my onions all chopped up, ready to go. And then I sliced up two lemons because I really like the lemon flavor. If you don't like it as much, just chop up one. Okay, we're taking the chicken out of the Instant Pot now it's still not cooked all the way through, but we're gonna get the rest of the stuff in the pot so it can all pressurize together. So I'm just adding my lemons and my onions into the Instant Pot. Then add a clove of garlic or just one teaspoon of minced garlic and just kind of mix those together. Now my button is still on saute. Okay, once the onions start to brown a little, I'm gonna add one cup of water. You can also use chicken broth. I was just out of chicken broth, so I'm using water. Okay, I'm gonna add my four chicken breasts right back in on top of the onions and the lemons. Now because I love lemons so much, I'm gonna put my second lemon on top of the chicken so the flavor will seep in from the top and the bottom. All right, now we are ready to cook the chicken. So put your lid on, make sure that when it's on, your knob is on ceiling, not venting, ceiling. Now, because I've already seared the chicken, I'm gonna have to push cancel, so the saute button's off, and then push manual. And I'm only going up to 10 minutes. Now, if you don't sear the chicken, you need to go to 20, but because I seared it, I'm going to 10. Now, when your chicken is all done, you'll have that little L show up. Now, I let it sit for about 10 to 13 minutes, and then I did the rest of the quick release. Now, once all the pressure is out, go ahead and take the lid off and your chicken should be all the way cooked through. Now I like a little bit harder edge, so I broiled mine in the oven for about two minutes just to get the hard edge. All right, my next recipe is barbecue salmon. Now I'm gonna start by just pouring one cup of water right into my Instant Pot. 
Now this little trivet came with my Instant Pot. If you don't have one, that's okay. Do You can make it without it. So I put my salmon into a piece of foil. I got this idea from one of you who commented saying, you should make your foil like this. So I'm giving it a try. So I'm making my foil as like a little bed and then I'm gonna add my seasonings to it. So as you know, I love garlic salt. I could eat it on everything. Next, I'm just gonna add barbecue sauce. Now I know what you're thinking, this is gonna be weird, but I'm telling you barbecue salmon is my favorite way to eat salmon. Now you wanna spread the barbecue sauce all around so it will cover everything. Then I'm gonna take my foil and just stick it right into my Instant Pot. Now if you don't have a trivet, make sure your foil's high enough so the water can't get in. You could put it right onto the bottom. Just You just don't want it to leak through your foil. Okay, the lid is on, we are closing it. Like I said before, we want it on sealing so it will actually pressurize and cook correctly. And then we are going to set the timer, oh, not 50 minutes, all the way down to three minutes. Now when it's done cooking, the little L will, will appear. And so it's been done cooking for about eight minutes. I usually do between five and eight before I do the quick release. Now once it's done pressurizing, just go ahead and take the lid off and your salmon should be completely done. Now because of one of your suggestions, I thank you for it because I can just pull my salmon right out of my Instant Pot and there is no mess. Now again, I like a darker salmon so I'm gonna put a little bit barbecue sauce on it and stick it in the oven to broil for about two minutes. I love to serve mine on rice and put a little parsley on top. My last one is easy pulled pork. Now you can have a one to three pound pork here. I'm gonna add, of course, my garlic salt and then one can of Diet Dr. Pepper. Now I know this isn't the most healthy, but it's a little healthier than just plain Dr. Pepper. Okay, then we're gonna add Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, about one cup right on top of your pork. Now you are welcome to add other seasonings too, but I love this recipe because it really, you can make it with three ingredients and it's so easy to throw together. All right, we're putting the lid on. We're going to sealing again because we want it to pressurize. Now we're gonna push mat mule and go up because three pounds, I usually go 50 to 60 minutes. This is a two pound pork, so we're going to 50 minutes. Now I let it release on its own for about eight to 10 minutes. Then I just switch it over so I can get rid of all the rest of the pressure so I can open the lid. Now if you open the lid and your pork isn't cooked all the way, the good thing about the Instant Pot is you can put the lid on and cook it some more. Now I want my pork to shred easily for this shredded pork recipe. Now once it's done shredding, I'm gonna stick it back into my sauce and let it sit there for about 20 to 30 minutes. I mean, if you need it sooner, that's fine, but I like to have it soak up the flavor. Now, you can serve this on buns. I put a little extra barbecue sauce on top, or you can serve it over your favorite salad. And don't forget, Jared and I are giving away two Instant Pots to our followers. So go ahead and go to the link in the description so you can enter. You're not going to want to miss this giveaway. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today, and come back on Monday for a new Instant Pot recipe. All right, see you later. Bye.